myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up Don't let them see you, bitch, always have a plan to stay tough This life ahead of you ain't easy, it was built to be rough But that's what makes a personality is tragedy, bruh Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders Now we ain't out here moving rocks We out here moving boulders Now we ain't getting postal rides We out here making posters And we ain't got nothing to hide We move forward like soldiers You better wake up for the pay stub Or you'll pay up Don't make love to the game, bruh Fuck the game up Change up, rearrange stuff To your greatness Same us for the way up Play the game, bruh Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't get Till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah Grab yourself a drink because it's time for kick-ass action to begin again. We'd like to welcome those watching live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, and Twitter. Hit that like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. I'm your host, the fun size one, Nene Huertes Ember, and alongside of me, we have the alluring Morgana. How are you, Morgana? Oh, Nene, I'm doing so good. I'm so hyped up for the show tonight, and I hope everybody's just as excited. Oh, well, I know that. And on the other side, we have the one, the only, Mr. Flex. How are you, Flex? Oh, I am doing great. I'm amped up. I am so ready. It's attitude, baby. Let's go. Well, of course it's attitude. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have one hell of a show again for you today. We are going to see Brandon Zito with his manager, Joey Six, who came back last week versus Hal Jackson. Hmm. That should be interesting considering Hal Jackson knocked him, knocked Brandon the fuck out last week. I oh, know. Shit. That came out of nowhere. That was beautiful to see. All right. Absolutely. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we have that number one contender three women's champion match against Men of the Kraken versus Mika Greycloak. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm so excited for this match. Two of my favorites duking it out. Let's go. I, I wonder go. if Mika, I wonder if Mika's going to finally rip those tentacles off Fenna. She seems to want that, that octopus off her head. I don't know. Right? I mean, I love, you know, I love Fenna, but Mika's my girl. So that's going to be one hell of a match. Then we're going to hear from Isaiah the Hooded Jenkins about, you oh know, is that little bombshell that was dropped last week. You know, it was, like, oh, yes. it was like a Mari episode here last week. Who's your daddy? You know, I mean, what the Who's hell? Who's your daddy? You know what, Nate? Every time I hear you make a comment like that, and I think she's talking about the Hornet. Does she hear her? <laughs> she called him daddy. She called him daddy I, on the daddy air. Daddy say. I mean, come on, daddy say. I mean, I mean, I never thought in a million years, you know, would be saying daddy say. But I never lady, argue you call him daddy Eva. Then, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event, it's going yes. to be an extreme rules match. We are going to see Red Blackheart versus Quicksilver. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, last week. Red came out in the match between Alex Camino and Quicksilver and hit them both with his abracadabra. And Lord knows why. Who is this Red Blackheart? I mean, seriously, who is this guy? Oh, this man, Red Blackheart, is here to dominate everything and everyone. Oh? I've seen this man in the gym, and when I tell you he is amazing, from what I see, we are in oh. for the show. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It is not an ex I'm sorry. Somebody made a somebody made a boo boo on that. It is uh -huh. a normal rules match. It's not an extreme rules match. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. So I don't know about <laughs> you all, but let's get this party started. As you know, one of my favorite commentators says, "Let's Hell get this yeah. party started." Pour your wait, drinks, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is this? Huh? What the hell? 
Why oh, is Danny why? coming out? Danny. Oh, please leave the stooge behind. I can't. Are you coming? Hey, at least she's not in a box this week. <laughs> you know what? That was amazing, Lassie, but I can oh do without God. the stooge yeah. that's always up her ass. I just can't do with her. Nope. I but, I mean, is she, is she coming out to, no. you know, answer, you know, fire's trouble and wishes, you know, answer what, you know, where fire came out and said, the, you know, you where she was so talking good. about wish and all the little shit that they went through and wish granted it? She so did you after. Are, you got to remember, Sabrina and Danny did kidnap wish as well a couple seasons back, so maybe it was this would have been a little tougher. They handcuffed her and threw her into a shopping cart. That is not a sleepover. It was their way of Ubering. They saved money on an Uber. No, no. Come on. I don't believe any of that bullshit, Nate. Come on. Oh, come on. They just saved it's money okay. on an Uber. Hi, admit. Miss Danny. You See, Miss Danny, it. look, Miss Danny came out of the box last week. I don't think there's much more she can come out of right now. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Danny in a box last week. That was hilarious. Shit. Well, I mean, I'm out, sorry. I've, look, I've heard of coming out of the closet, but coming out of the box is a whole nother level now. A whole nother <laughs> level. She's risen the bar. She's risen the bar. Oh, dear God. Oh, uh, she has the stooge with her. She has oh. the stooge with her. They're joined at the hip. Of course she does. Uh, do we have to hear from her, though? Okay. Really? Uh, Danny, anything with you in any kind of box or anything like that is never PG, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> All I right, bet. all right. Cut the fucking music. Thank you so much, Production Monkeys. Oh, my God. So, Miss Danny and I are here to talk about those horrible allegations that stupid drunk bitch fire claimed last week. Yeah. Okay. So, it may have looked like kidnap that we had kidnapped Wish, but she came with us willingly. We had a great time. She made new friends and all was good until you came along, Fire. And uh, yeah. So get it right. It was a sleepover. Oh no. What's going on now? Uh, well, yeah, you. Uh, oh God. Now here comes friggin' Wish. At the party, girl. Yes, people, have a drink. Fire, you're coming out here, girl. You better be bringing up some alcohol. That's all I have Give to say. Because if I have to Get deal with some shit, get the key to get the key there better be some alcohol involved in this shit today. That's all I gotta say. She doesn't do anything sober. She needs alcohol with it, Because you people coming out here and the beat of this damn show without alcohol. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you serious? A sleepover? All right, come on, come on, cut the music. All right, so really, you call that a sleepover? You two really are Tweedledum and Tweedledumber, aren't you? I mean, if if that was a sleepover, I'd rather get a boob job from Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> I mean, I hope you don't expect. I hope you don't expect any good Yelp reviews for that nasty B and B you have. Not only did you give her Pepsi from two thousand and two, you went and framed her and had her arrested. How can you deny this stuff? Good thing Kevorkian's dead now, huh? Yelp reviews are absolutely amazing, by the way. So look, fire. We gave her the best room in the house that wasn't taken already. She enjoyed her stay and even came back. So let's quote that famous line from the movie. Let it go. Now we're quoting fucking Frozen. Seriously? I... Oh, damn. 
Oh, now man, what? Go. Oh, no. Now Where what? You go. What? We're not. Of course. Gonna... The oh. bitch is coming out. Carver, of you course. Why the hell not? Fire. <laughs> hey. Give me some alcohol. It's a party, right? You know, now well, Carver's coming out because she was embarrassed about the box situation. So, sure, why not? It's a pretty party out here. Why not? And with Carver, you've got her manager. DJ Quick, oh, oh, no. oh. as the Dime Store K-Pop wannabe. Oh, Alright, so, okay, so we've got, so we've got, I'm going to go back. We've got the food, we've got the party girl, and the Dime Store K-Pop wannabe. DTF boy, the alcoholic, and Sabrina Ritherick. Oh, great. <laughs> Sabrina. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Enough of this. Wish, Danny, what are you two even talking about? Why does it all matter now? This has been two seasons ago? And didn't you two solve all this with your big over-the-top cage match? Regardless, regardless, regardless. Karma has some personal business to attend to. You see? I'm sorry, Fire. Do you hear something? It sounds like crickets to me. I don't know. I figured he was supposed to be in bed. Passing uh, dead to him. Okay. The fact, the fact that two of the Sabrina and Fire are actually getting along right now is actually kind of scary, man. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> you know, Danny, it's cute. You, your manager, the box, it's all real cute. Unfortunately, we don't do cute. We do violence. Simply put, you can't escape karma. But speaking of which... Oh, not today. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, go. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you doing? Karma! Oh shit! Karma just hit Danny with a- Oh my god! Karma! Stick. What are you doing? Oh shit! Damn. Stop it! Karma! Oh, oh shit! And another no. one! BTS boy. Oh hell! Oh, Danny hit Karma. the ground. Damn! Are you Karma, you don't want to shit out of Danny, Danny, Danny right now. Uh, Karma, I don't think she's getting up. Oh, damn, she's choking Karma, her with that Nintendo stick! Karma, yeah, damn! Where the hell's the referee? This Karma. isn't the referee getting Security! Uh, Sabrina, you just gonna stand there and not help? Are you crazy? Oh, oh man, no, that looks like it hurt. Really, oh. BTS boy? Really, Captain Obvious? Hello! Um, remember, everybody, Karma's up! God, are you okay? So after that bombshell of an opener, oh, Lord. okay, can we get to our first <laughs> match? I mean, Please. yeah, I we should probably get the show started. You think? Uh oh, uh -oh. I can't see a blind. What's... Oh, my bad. Everybody, look at us, Joey. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. Oh shoot, Joey into his ass. Oh, how I love you all, baby! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, devils and divas, I am Joey Six, the Lord of the Smoke, King of the After Party, manager to the rich, famous, rich and famous, and the best of the best. And I have the honor to be your conductor for the evening atop the Attitude Express. Introducing first, after his recent departure from Hardcore Valley against Old Dead Tex, aka TLC, who's busy recovering tonight instead of getting in the ring, unlike my client. He who would have left with the belt in hand, but was detoured due to a, ne a negligent Mustang who got out of the pen. So tonight, he has made a express one-way trip to Talladega Nights Ring to personally remind people what happens when a car doesn't get off the tracks. He is the future hardcore champion at the height of six 
foot tin and i apologize folks for i must correct myself for last week i said 250 i was wrong we are talking 275 pounds of locomotive breath from the main streets of los angeles all aboard for the freight train brandon Xeno. Damn! That is huge. That man is huge. I'm sorry. He is huge. I, am I haven't super seen excited. him to be able to judge. You saw him last week. Oh, you're like talking about. Okay, I thought you were talking about something else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I spoke I thought she was talking about another part of him, okay? <laughs> I mean, what do you- she called Isaiah Daddy last week. I don't know where her mind is anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, seriously. You know what? <laughs> get up from the desk, go with the mask, and get yourself a break. Seriously. <laughs> Joey might even be the one to turn Brandon into the next monster of attitude. Do we need it? I mean, do we need another monster on attitude? I mean, we just got rid of monsters. Do we need another one? Oh, probably. Well, his opponent coming out right now from Daytona, Florida, at six one, two hundred twenty pounds. He is Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson. Oh dear God! Why did we get him traded here? Because he is awesome. That's no, what. he's not. He needs to be back on the, you know, the track. He needs to get the freaking car. He doesn't but, belong in a ring. He belongs in a car. You just well, said, you just said because Kyle is going to run. He doesn't belong in a ring. I mean, look at that horse. Uh, seriously, the horse sack. I mean, honestly, save that shit. Did you see? Did you see how he pushed me out of the way? You I know, right, Joey? Seriously. Okay, guys, guys, you got to remember last week when Brandon tried to run away with the belt, it was how he came out and stopped him. I hope Brandon wipes the floor with you. You're a wannabe. You, you know, you're a wannabe to Dale Earnhardt. You're, you're not even good enough to be Dale Earnhardt. Well, you know what? I kind of have bumped into him out back, and he was telling me he ain't worried about facing face someone that's bigger than me. He's actually looking forward to the challenge. You know, he's a lot like TLT. He's an adrenaline rusher, so we don't know what's going to happen. He's got high yeah, yeah. and running through his veins. How does it go with him? So, basically... So basically you're telling me he drinks photo oil. No, no, I'm saying that photo oil is blood so that he can keep on going. Yeah. See, he yeah, keeps yeah. coming yeah. cranking and stuff all the time. You know what? I, I'm real worried about that. You know, there are children who watch the show. You need to stop cranking stuff, sir. Right. <laughs> I, I, I agree, Joey. Seriously. Crank away, my friend. Crank away. <laughs> you know, I think that we need to give him a drug test. Oh, He'll God. pass that. You know, what you want to test him for is prime super grade A molar oil. That's what you need to test him for. If oh. we're going to test him, some of the stuff that comes out of your mouth, Nate, maybe we should test you. Hey, I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, pass on the test. Oh, you're going to pass on the test, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll pass the test. There's no problem. But ladies and gentlemen, the bell is rung. Sarah is our referee again today. <laughs> Hi, here Sarah. And they are circling each other. Oh, we're having Sarah. the Jules moment again. Dun, dun. Sarah, I know dun, you can hear me dun. in your earpiece. If there is a box, just dun, pay attention to the action dun, in the dun, ring. Dun, okay? Oh, Lord. Other than that, <laughs> And there's a lockup. Yes, they are locked up in the center of the ring. Oh, oh! right away, that scoop slam right away down to the mat goes, you know, Hal. Hey, Hal, have you got Matt? Oh, hey, Matt, now Brandon's stopping on him. 
Damn, son. Lay in the boots. Oh, oh Brandon with that grounded pound, not even giving Hal a chance. You got yeah. this, champ. I'm telling you, this is going to be nothing. From all here, it's going to be smooth sailing. I Joey Brandon... giving some encouragement there. Brandon, why yep, are you picking yep. him up? Now oh. Hal's shoving him. <laughs> I think Brandon is here to make his. Oh! Did you hear that chop? Did you hear that connection? Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. That Man. So fierce. Oh, now hell oh. with those punches. A few punches of his own. But Brandon, Brandon really staggering. didn't move. Off the rope. Oh! Straight oh, oh, out of nowhere. Nom, Brandon nom, was just nom. like, <laughs> really? Those little taps? Now really? he's stopping some more on Hal. Boot to the head, nah, nah. How did that fillet of soul taste there, Hal? Well, Brandon looks like he wants to break Hal's ribs. Now he's, he's just just putting... literally stopping on Hal over there. Brandon's not even just Brandon. Why are you picking it back up? No. He wants to beat the snot out of him. That's just a big stop dude. him. Oh. oh, it is a GTS. Oh, oh. you it know is, how much that hurts? Oh. He went from the GTS right into a DDT. Man. Yeah. Pin attempt. One, pin, two. Oh, no, a a two out. count. Oh, that was denied. That was pretty Ooh. close, but. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying it. these performers, please let them know. All donations show them that they are doing, a, doing great work and help us keep these shows coming to you each and every week. Yes. Hal going back with those fury punches into a wrist lock. Oh, into a wrist lock for our butt. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, head our breaker. It doesn't Ooh. take much to make you giggle, does it, Flex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Alistair, for that wonderful donation. And Hal takes us down to the mat. Ooh, oh, drops the knee. He's trying Ooh. to break his arm. Yeah, I would say all signs point to yes on that. Brandon okay. is now cradling that arm, so he must have done some damage mm. to it. You know. Oh, Ooh, there's a toe kick. You know, you would think that the little man there would have kept the big man down and worked on the legs, but no. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh, chop oh. blocks in the back of the knee. See, Taking the big working. man back down. He's still working on some weak points, though, whether or not he picks him up or not. So that is obviously part of his strategy to keep the big man down. It's a very good strategy. Everyone knows the bigger they are, you got to keep him down. Don't let them get back up. Now oh, Hal, go for pin. pin. We got a one. 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 Yeah, Only a one, one count. Epic denial. Him off like a rag doll. Get off me. <laughs> that was just like epic fail. Oh, Joey, up, Joey not liking this too much. Uh, oh, Joey's Joey not like the game. You really think you're going to beat like my it. clock that easily? Huh? You really think oh, so? Brandon coming <laughs> back with a punch. This racetrack, Speed Racer. Next stop for you is the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> oh. Oh, some fury punches into a haymaker. Oh, oh down goes Joey is Hal. trying his damnedest to distract Hal from this match. I mean, uh, Joey has is, is Joey really? taking his meds today? He sounds a bit crazy. Yeah. Just a little bit crazy. Uh have you met over. Joey? Not off his meds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Hal is that corner. in the corner. Oh. Not a good place to be with that big ass man there. Oh, hard oh. corner splash. You could feel the impact from here. Brandy doing a little coast to coast action oh, here. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh. You might want to move, Hal. Now's your time to move. Oh. oh and another hard corner splash. Is oh, he coming like back to the done. And we are going for a third one. Uh oh. Hal, you got to move, man. Oh, oh, oh damn. Okay. I, I, I think we heard some ribs crack. He's going to need to see oh. a medic at the end of this. I think oh. Hal's dead. Or, you know, that, half dead. What, that, what, what did I say? Was? 
What did I say? Told you you were going to get wrecked here tonight, Mustang Sally. Hey, when this is over, make sure to get an autograph from Arnhardt Sr. for me, would you? <laughs> oh, damn, Joey. <laughs> Gotta say, that is a great song, Mustang Sally. Mm -hmm. And Hal oh, went face first to the mat and tried to roll over. Now Brandon dragging Hal. You know you away from the slow ropes. that Mustang down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh trust Joey. He's got the song stuck in my head now. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna be singing that all night. <laughs> you know, I oh Brandon oh, just stop it on him. Brandon, watch what you're stopping, dude. Oh, oh, oh we, got got pin. Pin? we got a one, one. leg, two, two. two. Only oh, in two can. How? Only in two can. How did Hal kick out of that? He only had Pure one leg up. Grit and determination. He had only had one leg up, so he had the other leg free to be able to kick out. Brandon, got to make happened. sure both shoulders are down on the mat. Yes, you got to lock give, it in. Lock it in. Don't give any on the shoulders. Nope. You know, it, with as big as Brandon is, he probably just if he just lays on the how, you'll probably pin him down. I mean, <laughs> look at those arms. He's got him in a front face lock. I mean, his arms are just literally, how is he breathing in that? Yeah, really he's close to them armpits again. I'm sorry. Get away from the armpits. Mm -mm. Joey, you did buy your client deodorant, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Either man. way, Hal's getting pit stains on his head. He's bringing him over to the ropes. Whatever uh, he's got this, in mind here. This is not going to be pretty for Hal. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. This doesn't bode well for Hal at all. Like that. Oh! Big oh, big toss over the top rope. That's what I'm How talking is... about, champ. That is what I'm talking about. Hey, guys, you got to admit, Freddie Mercury's white trash cousin here isn't too bad of a knockoff. He really is a rocket ship to Mars on a collision course. <laughs> Damn, Joey. Well, Sarah wow. is now counting one, two. Oof. I mean, I mean, how, how slammed. On the hard concrete, he missed the padding and smacked right on the ground. I don't know if he's going to get up. I think oh, Joey's wow. getting on Hal's last nerve here. I really do. Yeah, because Hal just basically said to Joey, fuck you, Muffle Mouth. Ooh! <laughs> Muffle that Mouth, up to that's a, a new one. <laughs> oh! oh big boot, boot to the face! Down goes Hal again. Oh, man. Oh! Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I don't know if Hal's going to be able to come back from this. I think he lost some teeth in that grill. Oh, and a bear hug. Okay, if he didn't break ribs before, he just did. I thought he just no. snapped his spine. Suddenly, that song, Nelly's uh, Grills, makes more sense. That or he realigned his spine, one or the other. Oof. Who needs a no, chiropractor? Well, Just get a boot to the face from the monster of a man on oh, oh, the ground. Oh, another ground and pound. And Ben, can you stop putting songs in my head? <laughs> Please. I'm talking songs. You know that. I know, know that. but then I start singing them, and Nana gets <laughs> mad at us. And we get told not to sing anymore. Yeah, to the back. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, but we won't. Oh, oh, now we're on them. Can you guys like, pay attention to what's going on in the ring? I nay nay, I hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go for a pin. <laughs> Is this good this be it? One, two. two. Oh, no, just oh, a two only, count. A two only a two count. count. Oh, Brandon's getting frustrated. You can tell he's getting really annoyed now. <laughs> he's never faced Hal before. I'm telling you, Hal refuses to give up. It's in his blood. <sighs> In his very now veins. he's taking it back. There goes Joey again. Back up on the apron. Come on, Raph. Oh, that boy. was clearly a three count. You saw that clearly. I agree with Joey there. It was a three. Oh, he now they're turn... sitting there brawling it out. Oh. I agree with you, Joey. It was a three. Yeah, but you know the best thing you do is not to argue with the referee. We know this. Joey Ooh. knows this. Don't do off it. The ropes. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, no, no, the oh, he big boot. Oh, he made but it. How rolled out of the way. Oh, man. That would have hurt if he connected that. Oh, here goes Howl into the ropes. Again. 
Oh, oh! drop take Damn. to the knee. Damn. Brandon Exito is taking a knee in a bow of respect to how forcibly. <laughs> uh, oh, there goes Joey again. What did you get away from him? <laughs> what the heck are you think you're doing over there? <laughs> Joey, I, I um, think they're wrestling, they're wrestling. Joey. They're jokes. Listen, what? Joe, oh, no. you, you, really you got something to say? Let, move out of the way, Tom, uh, Tom Raider. Nobody cares about you. What? what <laughs> you got something to say, Sparky Thurman? I'm not coming out here dressed like a damn Herbie cosplayer, talking mud rock. He just did a piston elbow in the face of Joey. That's a signature move. He said, shut the hell up. This is what I think about what you got to say, sucker. Wham! Down goes Joey. Serves you right. It's the fact that Sarah turned around and went, good. (laughs) Just good. (laughs) (laughs) Joey? Oh. Oh, How are you high risk this draft? (laughs) Uh. I'm reluctant to say this, but uh, do we have any medics to check on Joey? Are you alive? Put some water on him. He'll be fine. Hey, Joey, <laughs> blink once if you're dead. <laughs> oh, flying high kick. Oh. Could this be it for Brandon? Oh, he has a big Oh, one, one two, two, three. three. And just and the winner of like the that. My pitfall, ladies and gentlemen. Hell, Motor Nation Jackson. Mr. Motor Nation. Oh, yeah. What a way to win a match by pinfall and a knockout of the manager. What a way I to end the match. I told you. I told you. Uh, it's Joey. in his veins. Joey, you okay? Who's got a kendo stick to be composed Wake up. Wake up. Hey, Joey, y'all right there? Yeah? Oh, my. Good? Oh. All right? Oh, that one hurt. I'm... Oh, he, he hit me. He freaking hit me. I am glasses. You don't hit a guy with glasses. I'm freaking dare you. You get back here. Him, I'm going to put my I'm gonna call my lawyer's lawyer. I'm gonna call all my lawyers. Don't worry about this. We got this one, Brandon. Don't worry. Hey, he, we're gonna trust me. When he, we're through with him, he is not gonna do anything anymore. Come on, let, oh get him, champ. You got this. Wow, wow, wow. While Joey oh has God. his bitch fit, I think it's time to pay well, some bills. Well, thank you so much for that, oh. Logana. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, Joey having the bitch is hilarious, but we gotta pay well, some bills. Yeah, it's time to pay some bills. So yeah, let's pay All some right. bills. With over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martel Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martel or Morgana Bloodrose. Delightful Mochi is a fun, inclusive hangout providing fun entertainment with the club, arcade, farm, and fairgrounds. Visit us at Lost Kingdom 144-13126 or contact Zammy Cat Resident for more information. That's Z-A-M-I-E-C-A-T Resident. Well, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! So far, it has been insane. I mean, we had the ladies. We had the ladies come out, and then that match, and Joey going nuts. Right? I don't know. I mean, going off. What's going on now? (laughs) Wait, wait! What's going on on the screen? Um, Ooh, we got a video to watch. All right, all 
all right, all right. Calm down, my adoring mother nation. Now, I just had a really long and tough match. So tell me, who's ready for the first selfie? And who's ready for the first autograph? <laughs> all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, everybody. There's plenty of TLC to go around. <laughs> Make sure to tag TLC Hardcore Champion on social media. Go. Just uh, don't let me see this on eBay, okay? Wow. He's aid, you know. I, let's build a friendship, but now, oh, I can see how this might go. Oh, poor hell, man. Yeah, but it's not TLC's <laughs> fault. The fans ran to him. It's not his fault. I think oh. that's funny as shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so mean. God, poor hell. <laughs> The look of her freak on his face. Jesus, ah. man. Oh, well, oh. it looks like we're getting ready we for our next you? match. Oh, we going to do with you, Here Nene. comes oh. our wonderful GM, Rose Jameson. Oh, oh. Scarlet I wonder what Rose, I wonder if she's coming out to talk about, you know, our wonderful number one contenders match. You know, I'm just, I, I gotta say, I'm starting to like the fact that Rose is already in here. I mean, at least she's here. That's what I'm saying, she's doing a lot better than the previous one. Hi, Rose. Hey, GM. I need to tell you about this upcoming match that we are having. It is important because the winner of this match will become contender for the Women's Extreme Championship. Wait, now what? Holy shit! Wow. It's Rebel! Uh, um, what? Is is she okay? Uh, Rebel, hi. <laughs> we're, we're live. We haven't seen Rebel since that wow. attack from Java last the end of last season. Wow. The surgery went great. Apparently, this, this is the first time here that we've seen anybody with the Rebel since we got Ashley Malvedek. Wow. That's quiet surgery definitely helped us. Damn. Production monkeys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Finally glad to be back in the ring. And Rose, I just have a couple of questions. I mean, do you really think that you can have a number one contender match without me, the former extreme women's champion? Yeah, I think I can have that match <laughs> without you. <laughs> really, really, really. You know, I've followed your career and I've seen your mediocre skills in the ring, getting your ass kicked over and over. And, you know, I, I will not respect the GM as weak as you are. Well, now that's fine and dandy. Uh, and if you want to talk about former uh, champions, I was one. You know that. And since you weren't even in, supposed to be in the match because of your injuries that you received from Jamba for something that you actually did, have fun. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Rose, I, I, I just have to say this. Since when? Has an injury ever stopped me from fighting? You're a wannabe GM. Now, put me in this match, 
today. Head on back to GM school and let's get this show on the road. Watch what you say and how you say it because I can still fire your You ass. know what? You know what? I got a better idea. I think I think I'll just retire. I don't want to wrestle here ever again, especially with you as GM. My contract is up and I don't think I'm going to renew it. Besides, you don't deserve my skills in the ring, nor on this show. <laughs> Have fun. That well, okay. Show. Okay. Anyways, um, let's get on to our next match, that number one contendership match for that, you know, extreme women's championship between Veta the Kraken and Mika Greycloak, ladies and gentlemen. All right. The number one contender match. Let's go. I mean, we got Venna versus Mika. I'm rooting for both. This is exciting. Get amped up. We could see a new extreme women's champion. But first, we got to get through this match to see who that person could be to go for the title. Introduce it to you first. Introducing you first from Innsmouth, Massachusetts. Release 5'8", 180 pounds. Release the Kraken. Benna the Kraken. Well, last week, Benna took on newcomer Rock, the rock star, you know, and I mean, Rock gave her a front for her money, but Benna is the Kraken to see as Benna is the Kraken for the rest of it. Instinct says that the knowledge gets the advantage. Some people actually believe Veta is the real practice. But honestly, do you think she's that? I mean, seriously, she cuts out with that octopus. You want to go up and ask her if you can touch the tentacles, you know, such a I'm beginning to wonder, you know, like fire, I kind of want to touch the hair. You know, they say that once you touch the hair, you won't the question of the world. I'm just waiting for Zay to use it as a weapon. Right? You know, just what? one day you, okay. she's in the middle of the ring, she's dressed in open, her hair just wraps around her neck, and just beats them to the floor. I don't know. I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the day that she actually leaves that, you know, little thing that's on her, little octopus that's on her arm, she actually leaves it there and uses that as a weapon. It doesn't come down to the ring. I mean, it's technically, in the Extreme Women's Championship match, you know, she technically, right. you know, she can, technically can. It's a weapon. All, you know, anything goes in that match, so it will right. be able to be used. Well, I can't wait to see what happens. Maybe she will, maybe she won't, I don't know. But coming out, her opponent. Oh, I like this one. 154 pounds straight from the UK. Yo, friend a little vampire. Mika Greco! <laughs> in the UK! Oh, I'm way behind you going to some cheap representing. Why do you always have, like, this little giggle every time you can come down? I don't get it. I like this one. She's one of the good ones. And you cheer her on. But she's a vampire. That's why. Even the good ones turned bad eventually. She's your local neighborhood friendly vampire. Yeah, give her that. She dresses like a vampire, fights like a vampire, and silent as a vampire. She also believes that vampires are misunderstood. She just wants to make friends and fans of both worlds. And every time everyone knows it's subject. I eventually think that, you know, hopefully she'll come to the evil side like me. Nah, she's well, not. She, well, just come and have a cup of tea with her. Trust me, she's a gem. <laughs> she's so lovely. Right? She doesn't drink tea. She drinks blood. Oh, she's English. Trust me, she drinks tea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she like uses blood in her tea, like you know, some y'all like a cream. sweetener. Yeah, she yeah. has a bit of blood, bloodner to it. It's fine, but she drinks tea. Thanks for the tea. Do you have a spot of blood that I can put in my tea, please? Thank you, thank you, darling. And none of us sound like that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. No, we really do not. Lies. It was you kind of do. Know it. Uh, anyway, really the bell has rung. 
you're used to it, so you you know you you just hear it normal. That's why. And they both that's what I'm saying. Americans sound really alike. Sad. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, invented with the lockup. <laughs> Into a waist lock. And the action's underway, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, get amped up. Make some right noise. Right, hammer lock this into the wrist. Hammer lock into the wrist lock. Yeah, you guys are awfully quiet. I mean, this is for the number one contendership. It's important. Make some noise. Let's hear it. Come on, guys. Let's hear it. Make some noise. Then I yes, that's what we want. Make combo. some noise. Do you understand that one of these two wonderful ladies that are duking it out right now could become the next extreme women's champion? We're talking Nico about making history, people. Get excited. Oh! Oh, man. Mika got better right down on the leg and now working on that leg. Oh. Yes, let us know. Do you want Mika to be number one contender, or do you want Vena? Let's. You gotta let us know. We need to hear you. You know, whoever you. wins this match will have to face the Keto in an Extreme Rules match of the mid season for the title. And how exciting will that be? Because either one of these two wonderful contenders could definitely have Nikita run for her money. Oh, Mika with the heel hook. Vena get to the ropes. Tap, snap, or get to the rope. Woo! Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Dig oh down no, Mika released it. Find that grit. But is the damage done? That's the question. Mika, stop taunting. Mika's getting amped up. She's just waiting for Venna to get back to her feet. She's just Venna is so right wobbly. <laughs> Venna is so wobbly right now. <laughs> trying to, uh, you know... Get her bearings in the ring here. Ben is wobbly that she's been drinking Fire's drink. My oh, 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 oh. take the Mika down with the ground and pound. Just tackles her to the ground, beating the hell out of her face. Now she's picking Mika right back up again. Uh-oh. Here's the wind-up. Flurry <laughs> of punches. punches. Oh, a face slam. Oh, 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 face to the mat. Oh, down goes Mika. Ooh. Man, off the rope goes Mika. Oh, right into a leg hold. Man. Veta is being relentless. They both want this bad. These women are giving it their all. Oh, Veta with the dragon screw. Oh, go for a pin now. We got one. A one. Two, no, just a, no, just a one only, count. Oh, only two counts. Two count, honey. Two. Only only two. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep Mika down. A lot more. Oh, oh Mika, look at that. That flip kick and a duck roundhouse kick. <laughs> Here she comes with those kicks. She's deadly with those combos. Thank you so much, DJ, oh. for that wonderful <laughs> donation. Oh. oh, what an insane man. combo. Uh oh. Mika off the rope. Oh. Oh. Oh, drop, drop kick straight to the knee. Oh. Bend it down to the mat. Mika going off the ropes again. Oh. oh. Standing shooting star pressed to a pin. One. Oh, but only two. a two count. Oh. Man, so close. She almost Evil. got it there. What an even matchup. It could go either way, folks. You These two women them really on. are trying. Come These two on, women guys. are trying so hard to win. Get them I amped mean, up. Come on. I mean, Veta, Mika, which one do you want? That's right. Cheer on your favorite competitor. Let them know you want them to win. That's right. Get amped up. Number one contendership right now. Wow. 
Oh, oh Ben is having some is issues it. trying to even get up. Get up. I mean, the I damage mean, could, be could be done. done. This could be it. it? Mika could be the number one contender, but what's this? Meta comes out of nowhere oh! with a sweep. And the tides have turned. Oh, into a wrist lock. Oh. And now with those punches, take down with the armor. That was a beautiful counter wrist lock cartwheel to escape. And drop it to the takedown with an arm bar. Oh, she's going to the ropes. Oh. She's asking. Nick. Oh, she got the rope break though. Oh, has to break the break the hold because of the count. Better go and drag and beaker away from the ropes right now, though. That's a very smart move. You do not want your opponent anywhere near the ropes, as we just saw. Oh, another dragon screw by Vetter on Mika. Uh oh. Oh, Mika's got to be feeling that one. She's now picking over and hitting her with the sister Abigail. Oh. Oh, it connects. Oh, Down man. goes Mika face first into the mat. Face meet mat. Mat meet face. Oh, man. Go for a pin. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. We got a one. One. Two. Two. Oh, oh. no. He got kicked out. Oh. Right at the last second. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. Oh, what's this? He comes back. Starts pounding the face of Veda while she's on the mat. Oh, just beating the snot out of her. There goes Mika with a neck breaker. Here she goes with oh. another one of those combos again. Venna Mika's goes back combos down are just immense. To the mat. Oof. Eat mat. High fiber. Mika, I mean, start does, with a taunting. Does does Venna know where she is? I mean, she's kind of wobbly, trying to get her bearings. Oh! Oh! That back cutter. Oh! oh, oh, oh poor Venna. Back down on the mat again. Picking her up Ooh. again. Mika is being relentless oh. right now. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What in the world? Out of nowhere. Oh, right out of the into a pin. Can this, this be could it? Be Can it. This be the end? New contender. Here we go. One. Two. two. No. Oh, Pick so out. close. Yet so far away. Both wow. of these ladies are utterly exhausted. They are not stopping yet, though. They're not giving up. Each one is digging down as deep as they Nick can. And Charlie, stay the heck down. They want to be the number one contender. They will give it their awe. History could be made. Mika looks like she's going to be the first one to her feet. If a little wobbly, but she's oh. up. Oh, and she's just oh. comboing. That's oh. combos. Oh. Oh, oh, what's oh, this? Another pin. Another pin. Mm. One. One. No. Two. Two. Uh, oh. No. She gets out again. Only a two count. Do you know what? Oh. I'm beginning. I'm beginning to feel the frustration. I'm oh, so frustrating. So frustrating. Mika, Mika's getting frustrated. Veta is literally. Oh, man. I mean, Mika she, just can't believe kicked, it. She kicked out of the vampire's kiss. Mika Signature can't believe move. it. From, from Mika, I mean, how? How could you kick out of the vampire kiss? Oh! Veta just tried to hit her with the Kraken's cash, but she missed. That's her finisher. Oh, oh, Mika oh, with a oh. spear. Oh, what a counter. You can see how serious Mika is about this number one contendership. Oh, Vampire Air, ready for takeoff. Oh, but nobody's oh, home. Oh. Nobody's home. Vanna got out of the way. That was a crash landing if I'd ever seen one. Oh.
Oh, that impact alone. Crash and burn. Wow. I'm I'm just amazed at what I'm seeing. Man, both women giving it their all right now. Veta oh, whipping oh. her. Make her off their oh. Oh, oh, the crawling chaos. Now let's go. No finisher. <laughs> I think I said that right. I don't know. Again. Please say it again. No, I'm not saying that again. Oh. That's Meta's new finisher. Nice. Uh, guys, guys, can you believe what I just the end. This could be the end. Is she going to tap? She just tapped. Mika just tapped. Oh, my God. Wow. Meta is the number one contender against the Keener in the mid-season finale. That was what? well earned. Oh my Ooh. god, it could have went either direction. They just would not give up. But what a Venice match. new move was too much for Mika to handle. You so don't say that new move. For the Extreme Women's Champion is uh, Veda the Kraken. Are you looking for a beach town with an amusement park that's right on the boardwalk? Or one that has an exciting nightclub and plenty of inexpensive homes to rent? Well, right here at Karen's Cove, we have it all. Look no further. If you would like more information, please contact Isaiah Zay Jenkins, Apollo Cypress, Nene Lyons Ember, Renee Simithorn Nickers, or Randy Glenfat. Hello! Are you tired of sitting back watching the action? Well, did you know Premier Wrestling is currently hiring? Go to our website for details. You want to come watch the action live in person, by yourself, or with your family or friends? Great, let's get started. Check out the description below and come to our arena to buy your tickets. Remember, space is limited. We hope to see you soon. Pink Moon Estates is a mature, full sim that offers many social sporting activities like wrestling, soccer, and more. It's a place where you can hang out with friends, take pictures, play games, or get a professional picture taken at our photo studio. Pink Moon Estate also offers homes for rent, and you can set home there when in their group. For more information, check their website at www.pinkmoonestates.blogspot.com, and also you can contact Bullets and Moon for more information. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And we've had well days so far. We saw all those ladies beforehand. I mean, starting off the show, you know, even before our first batch, you know, we had Sabrina come out with Danny to go and, you know, sit there and, you know, go in, you know, call out Wish. Then Campfire and Wish came out. Then Karma came out with, you know, BTS boy. And Karma beat the shit out of Danny with a kendo stick. Fire and Wish took off like bats out of hell. Then we had, you know, Brandon and you know, Hal Jackson, who made his, you know, debut today. Literally, it was his debut, even though he, you know, knocked Brendan out last week. It was actually his debut. Joey got his out ass knocked out. Hey, why not? Then we just saw the number one contendership where Venna just beat, you know, Mika. So she's going to face Nikita in mid-season finale. And boy, Mika has to go to the end of the line. So, yeah. So what is next? You know, anything. I mean, I think we're going to be hearing from Isaiah next. You know, I don't know if my heart can take much more today. There's just so much happening. We're going to be hearing from Daddy Zay. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh, I can't. Oh. Say it's Daddy Zay. Oh, no. It is the Hornet and they... And Nene has no bug spray today. I can't. I, I, I can't. He's got a son now. I can't. Or at least we think it's a son. I don't know. I mean, is he going to claim the kid? You know, I mean, you know, is it, is it like the, you know, Billy Jean song? You know, is, you know, I mean, man, is he going to be claiming, you know, the kid? You know, is he claiming the kid or what? I 
something good for her about to find out. I mean, the video is all people kind of plugging at your heart. Okay. I mean, do we have to do, you know, an episode of Wally here saying you are the father? I mean, what are we doing here? Well, I'm guessing Zayn's coming out. I'm Zayn's coming out. And that's the way that we live right now. So, first of all, before I say anything, hello, all you beautiful people. Hello, Flex. Hello, Nene. Hello, Morgana. You, you guys are all great. Ah, uh, he knows how it happened, guys. Okay, let's 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 squash this noise real quick. I do not deserve your cheers this week because I am a despicable person. I did something last week that no man should ever do. This young man that's ringside reached out to his dad and instead of embracing him and making sure that everything's going to be okay, making sure he has a happy life, I went out for milk. I, I did the exact same thing my dad did to me. And all week, it's been eating me up inside. Isaiah, what the hell are you doing? That boy needs a daddy. So instead of wallowing in my self-pity, instead of being in my feelings, instead of being a cocky asshole that I have been since defeating the semi demi mini god, I came out here to be a man. Read my shirt, guys. I'm your poppy. Oh, he did. So not. I vow in front of everyone here tonight, everyone watching on YouTube, like and subscribe, by the way, that I'm going to treat this young man better than my dad treated me. Jeremiah, boy. You wanted a daddy. Damn it, you got one. He, oh, oh, missed the damn thing. These barricades are slippery. Who made these? Okay, try it again. Yeet. Oh, there we go. All right, boy. Hug your daddy. Oh. Wow. He is hugging his son. He's actually going to claim to be his daddy. Did you bring the milk, though? Yeah, you know what? I didn't too. get the milk. I didn't get the milk. Hey, Jeremiah, let's go get some ice cream, bro. Oh. <laughs> You're taking your son for ice cream. That is so sweet. Even <laughs> Wait, wait. Nene scaring about it. Sweet. Oh, Nene. Oh, come on, Nene. Oh, love look it. at Nene. She's trying to act all evil and dark. Yeah, and she's like, she's so sweet. Softy. She's, she's a, a big teddy bear. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for You know the death flare we're getting right now, Flip. Can it's you feel what? the death flare? <laughs> Aww, I mean. Thanks for having me. Give me my spot on that throw. They didn't want me to grow. They actually went and, you know. I will make all of them grow. I, I did it all on my own. I still can't get over you calling him daddy. I just can't. Even though he is a dad now, I just can't get over you naming calling him daddy. It just brings too many different connotations to mind. So now we have, you know, the Donnie's and Annie and the daddy's next. This sounds so wrong in my head. <laughs> what happened to this show? What happened? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are down up to our main event. Red Blackheart versus Quicksilver. Yo, Make some noise! Yeah, yeah, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yes, let's do it here. Make some noise! It's Come on! Time for your main event! Okay, here comes Fred. Maybe he's going to tell us 
what he's doing, why he did it. And introducing to you first. At a height of 6'3", 245 pounds, from Washington, D.C., he is Red Blackheart! So you all asked, and I'm delivering. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time here at... Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, premiere. It's time! Attitude. I, the enforcer, Ren Blackheart, makes his in-ring debut, and, and, and what a beautiful sight. It, it, well, it's not really a beautiful sight, but you know what? It's okay, because we're going to make it... We're going to make the moment happen. Listen, I am here for three things to prove to be the best, where I don't have to do any piss poor, oh, I'm your dad type spiels, hard hitting action. I'm going to be that guy that's going to be undefeated here on Attitude. And if you want to see all my victories, well, you just have to pay the Lindens, pay the money and subscribe so you can watch because I promise you, I'm going to do everything and I'm going to win by any means necessary. Mm. First off, I don't pay to see anybody, but yeah, uh, that's okay. Well, I mean, he is full of himself, but oh, <laughs> Conan. All right. So that's why well, pee out. He does it. Speaking of action, like Ren was talking about, was the opponent at a height of 5'9", 185 pounds from Villa Nueva, Mexico. He's the fastest man alive in premier wrestling, Quicksilver. Remember, last week, you know, Quicksilver had a match with Alex Camino, and Ren came in and hit both Alex and Quicksilver with his Abra Kadabra, and Alex got the qualified, so yeah, I guess that's why we're having this match today. So, is he one of those guys that can get this qualified every time? about it later? I deserve a title shot if you go away, throw off my neck and win it in. He never loses. He never loses. No, he didn't get DQ. He went to hit. Remember, it was Alex and Quicksilver. He went to hit them both with the bat. So when he hit Quicksilver with them, Alex won the match by DQ. So Red never loses. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Boom, here comes the boom, how you like me now, Red? Really? Really good summer? You got a lot of me! Can he even win against Quicksilver? But at the same time, was Quicksilver even 100% last week? Like, what was going on? I know, I mean, he wasn't his normal self like he normally is. Let's see how he does this, shall we? Right. There is also a huge height and weight difference between these two as well. Absolutely. What the? Uh, Ren, you need to be in the ring. Um, Ren, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, guy? How you oh, doing, Ren? Oh, Lord. Well, and Sarah, Sarah is, is counted in. Count it out. One, two, three, um, four, uh, um, five, 
You're come to on, man. In, Seven's up to five. Oh, come on, Red. Get in the ring with, quick, with the shredder wannabe. Come on. I mean, if he's so counting that, that means he loses and he fails his debut match. Right. And we're up to eight. an eight count. Mr. I'll never lose. Nine. Right? Oh, Nine. Now Red get oh, back oh. in the ring. I see. He was. He had to catch his breath from all that talking. That's what it was. I think he's ready now. Everyone's like, Ren's scared. Quick, he's like, like scared. Huh? He's scared. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> and Red says, let's see what you're made of, fast man. <laughs> and Quicksilver's like, ready to face the fastest man in all of Attitude. Uh, oh, wretched know, wrist yeah. by Red. He would fail his debut match if he got counted out. <laughs> It would be a first. Quicksilver with that wrist lock. All right. Are we going to see Quicksilver? Is he amped up 100% ready for revenge or what? Red off the ropes. Quicksilver oh. off the rope. Close oh. line over the oh. top. Wow. Oh. Man, did you see that impact? Man. My goodness. Tried to take his head clean off. Oh man, I wish we could run that back. That was insane. You can do it again on your little monitor there. Reds is calling the ref. Hold it back. No, there is what? no holding yeah, it back. No, Red, no. <laughs> no, dear. Come on, no. Red. What? You, you what hit the No, that Red smack. with the eye rake. Oh, clothesline by oh, Red on Quicksilver. Okay. Took his head clean off. Smack Red, the back of his no, head straight on the Red, don't taunt. Don't taunt. He said, bam? <laughs> he by said any by any means, means necessary. necessary. According to that little promo speech that he had to take a breath from outside because he's so full of hot air. Quicksilver into that corner. He hit that corner hard. Oh, now Red with it, those chops. Oh, 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 I can feel it over here. Ah, it's one of those put your fingers over your eyes but peek through type situations. Oh, man, those chops. And another one. Oh, those chops. Oof. Man. I wonder if he does it hard enough, he may not. Oh, muscle. now he's wrapping Quicksilver's knee around that cool rope. Oh, oh, he's oh. like, here we go. Come on, fast man. Let's do this. Uh, and Quicksilver's just chanting, no, 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 no. He's so, doing it so Quicksilver can't use his speed. Smart, right, so, um, smart so, but brutal. Smart so but then, brutal. Yeah, so Red's a dirty fighter is what the synopsis is. Got it. Oh, I'll be sure to add that to my name. Oh! oh! Hard quarter splash by Ren. Oh, what's oh. this? Monkey flip by Quicksilver! Monkey flip! Whoop, whoop. Oh. Nene, nee, nee, I'm going to tie you to your chair when that happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> but she gets so excited. Like, I'm really? sorry. I like the monkey flips. Oh, man. Another card quarter splash. And another there monkey flip. And there goes Red. Monkey out. flip oh. syndrome in the house. Ren knows he's got to keep Quicksilver in the corner so he can't use his speed because you know that Quicksilver is wanting revenge. He's going to make his comeback. He's going to be but out Quicksilver there. was but the Red's one who fucking flipped it. Red out. Right? I was about to say, that's impressive. After all that, all that pain he feels in his leg, right? he still managed not one, but two monkey flips. <laughs> I think Quicksilver started to get a little frustrated with the way that Ren's acting by oh, slipping out of the ring. Back outside. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying these performers, let them know. All donations Tell them what they're doing. Great work. It helps us keep this show's coming each and every week. Oh, ref, he's punching me. Please keep him off me. I can't bear the pain. I yeah, don't nice like him. You, he's being mean. He's being mean to me. Yeah, you probably want to get in the ring and stop acting like a five-year-old. You know, Mr. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to lose a match. Sarah up to a six count. Seven. I'm going to be undefeated, but let Eight. me catch my breath. Nine. Red back in the ring again. 
Gets Six. back in the ring. Quicksilver runs to the ropes. Comes back. What's oh, this? Thank Boom. you so much, Ellie, for that wonderful donation. Oh, oh go for oh, oh. Knocked him clean out. Went for the pin. Oh. oh two count two only. Count. You know what, Flex? Looking back over the seasons, we've heard many people come out and give that same BS. They're going to so be much undefeated. For that They're yeah. going to be the champion of champions. No one's going to match them. They're going to be top dog. All of them do it, and all of them fail eventually. <laughs> oh, oh it right with the Black Heart Fury. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that Black Heart Fury. Love it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. in black. Oh, oh rebound back elbow to follow up. You know, that's Connects. impressive because such a big guy. He got Completely. some height on that. But, you know, Connects. I'm sitting here looking at, you know, Quicksilver, and, you know, he got that yeah. little rush again, but then all of a sudden <coughs> he fizzled out. Hey, it's not over till the fat lady sings as the story goes. Oh. But look at that. Quicksilver rolls out of the way. <laughs> no lion salt for you, fail. Down to the mat goes Ren, who's desperately clinging to the ropes. Oh, I missed my jump. Oh, I'm so tired. Quicksilver, stop going in sit there and taunting. Seriously. Oh! Oh, oh, oh close right over the top. Down goes Ren. Serves you right. Wah. Hi, Good Ren. Goodbye, Ren. Welcome to premiere. Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome Have to the party, pal. Lollipop. Here's a lollipop. <laughs> nice little wake up call from Quicksilver. Quicksilver runs to the ropes. Here he comes. Uh, off oh, the top. Pele kick. Pele oh, kick. By straight Ren. to the face. Boom. Down goes Ren. Is it? Or Ren safe comes back with it. Now goes Quicksilver. Damn it. I said that wrong. <laughs> Is it safe for them both to be outside the ring right now? I don't no. know. They're going to murder each other out here. Get back in the ring before you kill each other, man. Whip it him. Oh, <laughs> right into that barrier. I'd forgiving barrier at that. Oh, man. Did you oh, really just you got the kick. Whack. So it's just standing there going, yeah, we're up to oh, a three. Oh, Whatever. Kid is all set on, you know, if oh. it reaches ten... If they both lose, you know, whoever is outside the ring loses. But if it, oh. if they're both outside, it's a draw. That would be very oh. unsatisfying. That cannonball. We need someone in the ring. Uh, Did you see Quicksilver no, bouncing hi. off the barrier? What's this? Quicksilver out of nowhere just speared Ren right oh. in front of the comms desk. Get Counts back in the ring, Quicksilver. Quick, you get back in the, the ring. ring. Oh, 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 suplex. Suplex on that hard concrete with only an inch of padding. Ow. Yo, you lot are too close to this desk. Get in the ring. Seven. I'm seven. in the dress. Get in the ring. Just, quick somebody just shoved him into the Jacob's desk. Uh, somebody get in the ring. Break that count. Work to a seven count. Um. Oh, uh, super oh. kick by Red. <laughs> but somehow Quicksilver's still on his Eight. feet. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Nine. Up to nine. Oh, oh no. Ren's but he back gets in it with the ever cadaver. Ten. Oh, ten. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, Ren, he did it. But Red hit it with the ever cadaver. Oh. His went he went and hit it with his signature, the ever cadaver, got back in the ring, and the winner of the match oh. is Red Blackheart, ladies and gentlemen. What Quicksilver lost to due to a count out. Oh. He lured Quicksilver out. Hissed. Oh. Oh, oh what a hit. Ladies that was his plan. I'm telling you, that was Red's plan all along. Congratulations, Red, and welcome out of it. Bye. Bye. But he is a joy to watch in the ring. He stayed out when of he's in the ring. Okay, oh. seriously, seriously. The whole match he stayed out of the ring to frustrate Quicksilver to chase him about. I 
Yes, I get the strategy. But this is wrestling. Like Red said, I told wrestling. you, by any means necessary. Wow. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in need of a very large, very strong drink after this. Well, ladies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, we, we started the show out with all the ladies coming out. Danny Dominatrix came out with Sabrina to answer Fire's answer for last week, but which, her wish was granted. Fire came out to go and answer Sabrina and Danny. Then Karma came out and beat the shit out of. Danny, I mean, it, that's how we started the show. Then we had our GM come out to the number one contenders match, Extreme Women's Championship, where Venom the Kraken and Mika Greycloak, where Venom the Kraken is going to face Nikita, the Huntress, in mid-season finale in an Extreme Women's Rules Extreme Women Championship match. Then we saw Brandon Zeno and Hal Jackson. Brandon, unfortunately, lost that against Hal Jackson because, well, and Joey pretty much lost his shit, which, and Joey lost, you know, but his ass kicked too. Yeah. Then, we saw, you know, when, you know, she came out, when Rose came out, Rebel came out to say she was supposed to be part of this match, and Rebel came out and said that she is retiring. That was, a, that was pretty much a shocker right there. Then Isaiah came out and said, made a decision about his son and said that he accepted his son and took him out for ice cream. And then in our meeting, we saw, you know, a video of Hal Jackson leaving and the fans were going around him and TLC pulled up and, right. you know, the fans were in TLC and poor Hal Jackson's heart got broken. Oh. Right. And then in our meeting. Yeah, and then at our main event, we saw Red Blackheart take on Quicksilver, and Red won that by going and using his smarts by staying out of the ring and, l ring and luring Quicksilver out and getting a 10 count by leaving, get, getting back in the ring right at the 10. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Season 7, Episode 2 of Attitude. Can't mm -hmm. wait to see how Episode 3 goes. But uh, stay I, tuned for sure. I, yes, I can't wait to see how this goes. But I am Day Day Morte Zember. I am Morgana Black Rose Martel. And I am the voice, Mr. Flex. We will see you next week here in Attitude, baby. Bye now. Bye. Bye.